Hey guys, Sea Drama Invasion here. Welcome back to a new Sea Drama Updates video. So this episode we have quite a lot of recent celebrity news and um, some really sad and unfortunate news as well. We'll get into that in a little bit, but first let's talk about dramas that recently started filming ceremony and wrap ups. So usually we cover dramas that has been airing or recently was announced for a premiere date but since I'm a little bit busier this week I decided to do it on the weekend so a couple of days before um, whatever news that we get so whatever happens I'll definitely cover the rest rumors are that Immortal Samsara or maybe Love Like the Galaxy will air quite soon but first a new drama was announced starring He Hong Shan and Dong Su Chang also known as Win Win from Wavy. This is called 25 Sweet Games. This is a age gap romance where the male lead is a voice actor. We also have the announcement that the Demon Hunters Romance, a 36 episode Aichi horror romance fantasy drama starring Song Ju Er and Alan Ren, officially started filming. This is directed by the people of the Eternal Love series. I'm very curious about anything horror related. I feel like it's very new and it could definitely be like something very interesting. And I think with the fantasy elements, this could be great as long as they don't fall into that trope filled. This is more like a romance. They're just sprinkling in some horror, etc., for the sake of it, you know? I hope that it's the opposite and they focus more on the story and then sprinkle in the romance instead. This is about a romance between a black leopard demon of a fairy soul and a human girl with a demonic heart. Looking forward to this one, especially since it's something quite different for both of the leads. Ren Xiaolun has been recently in a lot of um, similar roles for historical romance dramas and the female lead Song Ju Er has been in a lot of romance modern dramas. We also have a new Mango TV drama that really has no synopsis yet. Only the cast so far, but it stars Peng Guan Ying and Tu Song Yan. I believe that it is a medical drama. Another Mango TV drama recently wrapped up filming. This one is called We Go Fast on Trust, part of their mini drama lineup for I think next year. This one stars Alice Ke, Jai Jia Lu, and it's about a retired racer and an F1 race engineer. Alice is a Taiwanese actress, mostly known for her drama in Someday or One Day. I'm a huge fan of her works and in terms of acting department, she's one of the best and most natural actresses in the business. And I'm excited to see this except for, I don't know how great the chemistry would be. There is quite a bit of an age gap and I don't know if Jai Jilu is a good actor or not. I've seen like not much of him, but many of his dramas are still in like upcoming works. So we'll just have to wait and see. Next is a Yuku modern romance drama called The Mr. Cat Who Lives in the Bungalow. This is a sweet romance drama with Hu Yixuan as the female lead and Ma Wanyuan as the male lead. Hu Yixuan is great and I really enjoy her, especially in the more mature roles. She's always this optimistic, really cute and sweet character just because she has like the sweetest smile. I think this one will be a little bit similar. And the last drama that recently wrapped up is Wrong Carriage, Right Room. This is a Yuku remake and it will star Tian Shi Wei and Ao Rui Peng. As the title suggests, it's going to be a rom-com set in like costume or historical times. So recently a trending meme over in China is that there's this thing called Dai Pai and the drama crew of Fox Bear Matchmaker, which is um, the one with Yang Mi, as well as Gong Jun, and also some other celebrities that are rumored to be in it, such as Yuan Bing Yan. They did start filming, however, it's very like low key, some big productions. Um, so there's usually two ways of doing this. Um, the first way is they don't care and to generate more buzz like till the end of the moon, they're going to 
release photos as early as possible photo shoots casting etc the next one is they kind of like to keep things low-key so it's less hectic and it kind of makes sense with longer productions especially costume dramas and big name cast that they kind of just want to hide away from paparazzi and prying eyes and um, will release it usually when they're almost finished this is going to be a very epic drama with like three chapters to it and um, I guess they're going to do the same thing with the other ones too but the way they dealt with these paparazzis and leakers is that they put on umbrellas that just straight up called them out and it says like die pi retreat retreat to protect the privacy of the cast crew etc so a loose translation of this word is that it is someone who takes photos of celebrities and sells it for money but they usually do it in very toxic ways so we have like so many instances before where celebrities were basically hounded and had like no privacy at all and imagine shooting for like 10 12 hours in really hot weather as well as just wearing layers and layers of costumes and then always being paranoid and on guard because people are stalking you literally everywhere literally trying to get into your hotel room your whatever and sell as much information as they can so i'm glad that the team is definitely taking measures and are kind of speaking up about it moving on we have the scriptwriter for Ordinary Greatness mentioned in a recent interview that they are trying to get the same season one team to come back for another season two. And right now they're still kind of discussing where this will go in terms of story and production. In other celebrity news, we have Meng Ziyi who has to speak up after an interview resurfaces where she talked about she wished she never took on the role in The Untamed due to the degree of hate and cyberbullying she got. It's been basically years now and she's still being bullied. She says that, I want to say again, I didn't get scenes added for my character. No matter how much you swear at me, that's the script I got. So there's been so many rumors that... Um, she kind of like paid her way or just did unethical things behind the scenes to get screen time to boost her popularity and there were so many people like criticizing her personality she was on variety shows to promote herself after the untamed people were just going in like calling her dumb and just like all these very terrible things i feel bad for her and i just hope that people just you know calm down like she really didn't do anything wrong and yeah, they just need to let this go. It's been so long. And the fact that she still is getting hated till this day about the untamed is kind of crazy to me. Gina Jin also went online to shut down paparazzi claims that she and Wang Anyu went home together. So there was a photo where they went like to the same apartment or something. And he visits her like a lot at night or something. And her studio said that they just met up as friends and sometimes he doesn't drive in himself so he comes in like a taxi or whatever so she has her driver drop them off in their separate homes later on but they're just reporting on a small fraction of it which is them going home together paparazzi's rumors etc and toxicity is definitely a problem that every celebrity deals with but i feel like in asia in particular the fan culture and everything is just to the max and to the extreme and there's just not enough laws and systems to protect these idols and celebrities so unfortunately so much hate and things like the Meng Ziyi case is just very terrible let's end things on a high note and after that I'll talk about um, two rumored um, dramas that might be happening soon so a good piece of news is that the Central Academy of Drama, the class of 2018 performance major, which includes Jackson Yi, Li Landi, Hu Shan Shu, Lo Yi Zhou, Hu Lian Xin, and Yang Yu Tong have officially graduated last week. I literally forget how young they are, especially like Jackson Yi, since he's been everywhere in um, the movie industry. But congrats to all of them and for sure they will have a long and bright future ahead of them. 
Oh, I almost forgot this trending image, which is like pretty fun. So I decided to add it. Is the news that Jiao Dusu will be on an upcoming episode of Keep Running, and it's been trending because you have Jiao Lusu, Angela Baby, and Bai Lu all sitting together and filming. So everyone's excited to see their friendship and interactions between these three beautiful actresses. And perhaps if they actually form a strong friendship, then maybe years down the line they can work together on a drama or something. There's been a rumor that Liu Shishi and Liu Yuning will be in a drama and this will start filming in August. Not too much information on it, but I do think that this is a costume drama. Correct me if I'm wrong though. General Yoon, I've seen a pattern with him where he only takes dramas with um, the same team behind or directing, writing in the past so his upcoming rumor project is a modern school family drama and it stars him and Huang Yao and according to the rumors this will start filming in July this has the same director as ordinary greatness and that wraps it up for this video let me know your thoughts on any of the pieces of news we talked about and for the emoji game just to see if you watched it all the way till the end or you can simply comment anything at all that will just definitely help out the algorithm and give this video a big thumbs up let's do a fox emoji for fox spirit matchmaker as usual everything you need is in the description box below so do check that out and if you missed out on previous videos Make sure to catch up by watching it either through the playlist in the description box below or just clicking on my channel and then you should see the recent uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next video.